Can I come in? Wait, I'm not a robot. Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic episode now. This is episode 3 of the Fallout Shelter Community Project, and uh, I did a few things since the last time we played, and we're just going to go right in and do a little uh, review of what we did in the last episode. So, the first thing you will notice as the doors open is I actually changed the entrance quite a bit now as you can see here there's another room here and this is actually a decontamination room now you step in now usually there won't be a button here but since I'm the only person in here currently I have that on the power box there that's just gonna close the door and then this decontamination door will open now there is no water in the game yet, but these up here are actually little tiny faucets that would, in um, theory, spray water and stuff on the survivor that's entering the shelter to decontaminate them from viruses or radiation or whatever else that would be out in the world. So over here, as you can see, there is another room here, and this is actually the vault door operators room now we got a little sensor here i got this suggestion from someone else to use them as a retina scanners so as you step up it'll do a little green light and then you press a button that's more so for a role play it doesn't actually work like that there we go the door is opening and in here what we got is the control panel for the entrance now this button here closes the door here behind us to protect the operator from whatever else is back there <laughs> Okay, and now this white button does nothing currently. And then there's this little red button here, and this button is actually a trap. Now say a robot rolls up, and it will open a little hatch there and drop whoever's there into a pit. Can I come in? Wait, I'm not a robot. Nah, we're just gonna get out of here. And this button right here actually starts the door sequence. Yeah, pretty simple. And now we're just going to go down the elevator. And we're going to see what else we can build down here. Now I've got a few things that I changed down here. So over here in the doctor's office, we got the retina scanner on the computer. Someone suggested that to me as well. And it beeps when you uh, stand in front of it. And we got the seat on the receptionist's uh, spot here so that you can actually sit. Pretty cool. Then over here, we got like a little checkup room with a computer, another chair, and a little um, checkup bed. Now, I got this pillow idea, for, idea from someone else. I think it was from Doge Lord. Um, that's the first time I've seen it. And then we're going to go in here and enter the operation room. And what's that? What is that? It is a operation tool. So, the medical room ran out of budget, so we just used this... Um, <laughs> we just use this tool here to um, operate with just an old boot. Mr. Ryan? Yes? Come on back here. Okay. Oh, this doesn't look good. You seem to have terminal scrapitis. <gasps> oh my god. You gotta get, you gotta get the surgery. We we kind of um we kind of ran out of money, so we got we we're using this specialty um tool right here. It's a boot. Oh shit! No. Oh, this should have been like a garbage shoot right here. <laughs> <laughs> a garbage <laughs> shoot. <laughs> you just got exposed. <laughs> I just got another idea. That's awesome, but I don't think it'll work. <laughs> I think that would do more damage than um helping someone. <laughs> so in our generator room, this is a little change, but once you turn it on, these um, barrels here actually spin. That's pretty cool. I never thought to do that when I actually made it. Just the little things add to detail, which is cool. And in here, we got a, another room. This room is actually going to be the bathroom because I actually forgot to add a bathroom last time. <laughs> How is anyone supposed to survive without a bathroom? This, this place would be a mess. Okay, and then in the dining room, <laughs> we got some more chairs, little bar stool like things. They're pretty nice. And um, the cash register now makes a noise. Yep, that's pretty much it. 
And then over here, we got these rooms. They're kind of smaller now. I got something planned for them. I might make one of these a new bunk room. So we might delete the old bunk room back there and make it an armory, which would be cool. So a new update for Scrap Mechanic came out yesterday. They added these new windshields, which are pretty cool. I can see a lot of cool designs using these windshields. And they also fixed the multiplayer because when the weld tool came out, it would not let you join someone else's uh, old world. It would just crash on you. So now that they fixed that, I could do a lot more videos with uh, friends, including Ryan, make a lot more shenanigan videos. <laughs> So what we're going to start with now is actually start with the bathroom. So we need to make like bathroom stalls. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. So I think I'm just going to use these uh, pipes here and these pipe joints. Maybe like concrete blocks or something. I think that's good. Okay, and then we're going to put some concrete down like this. That actually looks pretty good. Okay, so there we go. That looks pretty nice now. One important feature for the bathroom is we need to add sinks so people don't get poop fingers. <laughs> so we're going to have a bunch of sinks here. I think four sinks are um, a good amount. There we go. And then we also need to throw some toilet paper in the bathrooms for people. I'm going to throw it on the floor for now. There we go. Toilet paper there. Now I forgot the toilet in here because it, it, it fell under the ground. <laughs> so here we go. Got the toilet. Looks good. Looks good. Toilet here. There you guys go. Toilet paper. Awesome. Okay. I think that's good. Just gonna throw some extra details in the bathroom. Alright, so I added some small details to the bathroom here, like these little lights and the pipes and the and yeah. And then over here we got the um do not enter stall. It's um under maintenance. It kind of has some um, you know, um fake poop and stuff on the floor like that just to keep people away and the reason for that is because if you go back here there is a switch and it will open a door that turns into another secret room now I have no clue what I'm gonna put in here so if you guys have any suggestions please let me know um, I still got another room over there that is a secret room we might do something with that I'm not quite sure so we got two secret rooms that we need to put stuff in. So if you guys have suggestions, please let me know. The bathroom one's pretty sweet in my opinion. So over here in one of these rooms, we're actually going to make a garden. Now it's going to be an artificial garden because it's in a vault, obviously. So we're going to have a little barrier here, nothing too fancy. And we're going to have some like fake uh, grass, I guess, right about here. Oh, I think that looks really nice, actually. Maybe we should make it a little brighter. Something like this. Wow, that looks sweet. It looks like a golf course. Okay. We're just going to cover those up. I guess we can um make this the barrier piece. Like this. Looks good. And then we're just going to add some flowers and stuff like that in here. And then we need some um, lettuce or whatever this is. Some big lettuce I don't think that's lettuce <laughs> okay and then on the other side we're gonna have these growing things now we're gonna put them up on stands somehow here we go I think that looks good yeah I like that and then we can just remove the concrete underneath there we go we got like a little tiny garden here I guess we need some lights for growing so we're gonna put some of these uh, Headlights down on the roof, I guess. Awesome. That looks pretty sweet. So we're going to add like these little tiny water faucets coming out of the wall. So we're going to use these little uh, pipe shorts and these little pipe 90s. We're going to throw them down right about here. Right about here. Down. Down. Looking good. Awesome. So my game's starting to lag a lot more now, but I think that's because we're starting to hit our limit for how much my computer can handle. Hopefully my parts for my new computer come in soon enough, and then we can continue bigger builds like this. But I think I'm going to do a few more episodes of this. So if you guys have any suggestions, like I said, please let me know. I think I, I, I say that quite a bit, but it's always good to remind you guys that I'm, I'm open to your suggestions.
Awesome. There we go. We got a nice little um garden thing here. And over here, I think we're going to have the new bunk room. So I'm going to kind of build it to the similar way that we built it over here. And this room is going to be an armory. So I'm just going to remove this stuff quickly and I'm going to build the other bunk room. Alright, so I built the new bunk room. It looks pretty nice. We got two single beds and then we got these two bunks right here. They look pretty nice. A little small though, but it works. And we got some flowers. We got a cactus there. Make sure no one steps on it when they wake up. I don't know why I put that there. But anyways, we're going to go work on the armory now, which is where the old bunk room is. So the armory is done. It looks pretty good. We got a bunch of weapons here. We got the um, random locked case of things like a boot, a pipe, and a duck. <laughs> and then over here, we got stuff that isn't locked up like um, these duck grenades. We got a danger sign up there because those are very dangerous. Dangerous duck grenades. <laughs> Don't mess with the duck grenades. Then over here, we got a simple like pipe rifle um something like that i don't know i don't know what these guns are and then it looks like someone stole one there or i didn't finish that don't don't tell anyone i didn't finish it anyways over here we got a shotgun up top and a sniper rifle on the bottom i actually really like the sniper rifle it looks pretty sweet but anyways i think that's it for the armory i'm not quite sure what else i can add if you have any suggestions please let me know and i will try to get to them but i'm not quite sure how many more episodes of this i will um, get out before it starts getting way too laggy. Um, next episode might be the very last one f until I get my new computer belt. But let's do a little recap. So we got the armory right here. We got the medical room. Looks pretty good. Little doctor's room. We got the operation room. It looks pretty nice. Okay. And then over here we have the generator room. We're going to turn that on. Pretty nice. And then back here we got the bathroom. With a secret entrance over here. Just open up this door. And here's our secret area. Not sure what I'm going to put in this yet. So if you have suggestions let me know. And then over here we have the diner. Looks really nice. I like the diner. It's pretty simple. Simple little thing. And then over here we have the garden. Looks pretty nice. Not the best, but it looks decent. And over here we got the bunk room. Not very big though. So that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. So if you have any suggestions, like I said, for like the sixth time, please let me know and I will take a look at them. I'm not sure what else we can add within the next episode before it starts getting way too laggy, but um, I'll, tr I'll try to add some more things next episode. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing, and I will see you guys next episode remember stay sweet bye i didn't think this through your truck's so much heavier and i also got that pendant yeah okay ready three two one go